What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here with a test video. We got this right here in the mail. So it's an 8 watt semi flex solar panel. Of course, uh, when I decided to come out here and shoot this video, uh, some clouds started rolling in. So the sun isn't as intense as it was, but it'll be a good test nonetheless. It'll be some sunlight, and if the sun does actually poke through, we'll be able to see how it does during those circumstances. So what we've got here is a little solar panel. It's got some alligator clips here, I like to call them. So this thing's pretty cool to keep on a battery, you know, of a vehicle that you may not use very often. It's just sitting out in the yard. You can keep that on there. So when the sun's out, it can be slowly keeping a good charge on your battery. Trolling motor batteries, um, any kind of deep cycle batteries. If you've got a boat or whatever that stays out, you can set this on your boat, plug it up. It'll keep your battery charged all sorts of uses on a tractor four-wheeler things like that so it says here it's a mono crystalline solar cell eight watts maximum power p max voltage is 18 volts so from what i understand the p max and the imp the current at p max is the things that you really need to pay attention to when it comes to solar panels so 18 volts and 445 milliamps so it comes like this here you got Pretty decent amount of wire right there. Here's your alligator clips. It's got a plug in here, which is kind of cool. So like on a four wheeler application, you can plug this to your battery and route these wires up into the fender with some zip ties or something and hide them. And then all you gotta do is connect your solar panel when you want to, so that's kind of cool. Or in a boat application, you can keep these hooked up, keep that accessible, plug it up when you need to, when you're not using your boat. Then, of course, we've got the solar panel here, and it's flexible, as you can see here. So that's kind of nice. It's nice and flexible. So they say that this is weather, water, and corrosion resistant. So, of course, it's perfect to be left outside. And they say that this can continuously charge 12-volt battery systems. So... Let's see how it does kind of overcast. What I'm going to do just to test how many volts this thing's putting out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to plug this, this guy up like so. Simple as that. I'm going to break out my old fluke meter. So we're going to put it on DC voltage. Or attach my leads to the positive and negative here and we'll see what we got. Ready? get out of the shadow of it here. So right now it's sending out 19.87 volts DC. And that's on a cloudy, overcast situation. The sun is not fully out right now. That's actually pretty friggin' good. Oh, it's up to 20 volts. That's actually pretty good here. The sun's coming out a little bit better right now. Let me get out of the shadow. So 20 point four volts and rising that's pretty freaking slick the cool thing about this is there's no charge controller required to use this some solar panels you have to have a charge controller or it can actually damage your battery so there's a charge controller that assists with cleaning up the voltage if you will just to make things simple and uh, this you don't have to do that which is kind of nice it's got nice size grommets here so you can use zip ties or use different ways to fasten this to a boat or to a tractor or or heck to a window or something like that. You can um, get some suction cups, mount some suction cups to these, stick it on a window. That's pretty slick. It'd be such a small little compact deal right there. Let's flip it over and see how the voltage changes. So the sun went back in the cloud pretty good. So we're at 19.5 and dropping or some what dropping <laughs> flip it over see what happens still getting 14.9 you put it on my put it over my belly my big old belly see what it does there we go huh my stomach's actually putting out almost nine volts so yeah that works pretty freaking good right there sun's coming back out i don't know if you can see that 19.8 so again this thing's great for uh putting on your four-wheeler putting on a trolling motor battery putting on an old tractor or something like that that sits out that you may not use all the time but you want to be sure that you got a good battery in it when you do decide 
to fire it up. So I think it's pretty cool. Small, compact. You can shove that in a bag. You can keep it in the glove box of a vehicle. Um, it's supposed to be weather and corrosion resistant. So you can keep it outside on the different things that you, you may need to keep a good charge on. And I mean, it's putting out 20 volts right now and the packaging says 18 volt max. So it's putting out a little more than the packaging says, which I, I guess is a plus, right? So what do you guys think? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share with your friends. And uh, we'll be back around soon with another test video.